I'm, that's a mess. <laughs> Maybe this wasn't the right day to film or something. Yeah. Hi everyone, welcome to Southern Georgia. My name is Julie and welcome to Julie's Beautiful Life. Uh, for those of you who know me, been watching me, you, you know that I bought the Dermablend Flawless Creator Pigment Drops during the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale and when I applied it, it just le looked kind of orangey to me. And as it turns out, I was simply handed the wrong bottle when I bought it and I didn't bother to check. My bad. So I did actually go back and exchange it for the proper color. But what has happened is I, I put it on. You know, I was all excited to try it again and it made me look like death. It was a perfect match to my neck, but it was it was just too light and it took away the color that I had from the other one. So I'm not exactly sure what to do in my cart at Ulta online right now. I have a foundation fix kit. I, I can't remember what it's called, but it comes with light drops and dark drops and you can lighten or darken your foundation if you don't have the right shade. For any of you YouTubers or beauty themed out there who know of a better way to lighten or darken a foundation please let me know in the comments this is something I really struggle with I'm trying to find the right tone for my skin and I'm finding that I'm more of a neutral I lean towards the warm and I'm just really having a hard time finding the right foundation match as we age as we get older mature skin needs some color so I was watching a makeup artist the other day and she suggested that for mature skin we go up a half shade to a shade. My problem is color I had was the one that was up. So I thought, well, I'll use this and I'll warm it up with bronzer and blush and, and it was okay. I mean, I, I went out, nobody looked at me funny. I'm not, I'm not real thrilled with it. If I could just give it a little bit of something, I, I'm just afraid I'll either make it too warm or too cool. And, and I'm, I'm really at a loss. So I'm hoping one of you that watches might be able to give me a, a better hint or tell me if the Ulta drops are really good. A couple of years ago, they were featured in Allure. So I thought, how bad could it be? What I have here is Lorac Light Source 3-in-1 Illuminating Primer in Dusk. So I I guess it's kind of a glowy primer, but it has a little bit of a bronze look to it. It says you can mix it with your foundation. So I thought I would try mixing a little bit of this with the Dermot Blend Drops and we'll see what kind of a look we get. So here we go. I don't have a palette to mix on, so I have the lid of my shadow switch. I can just wash that. Let's see how this goes. I'm putting in a drop. I'm not thrilled with the dropper on this, I have to say. Okay, there we go. But I do love this Dermaplant foundation, so I can deal with the dropper. Get my IT Cosmetics, the Heavenly Luxe Flat Top Buffing Foundation Brush, number six. All right, now I'm going to squeeze some of this into the palette as carefully as I can. I don't want to overdo it. I actually have a tube of this too that came in a kit that I got, but I thought we'd use up this sample first. I really try not to waste product because waste not, want not, you know? I And I believe that. I'm going to mix it with my finger. I don't have any... Oh, wait a minute. I could use the other end of a brush. Brush that I don't use very often. Lip brush. I well, I don't know. It might be an eyeliner brush. I don't know what it is. I'm gonna mix this in. The, I'll show you what we've got in the pan here. I'm not expecting it to lighten it tremendously. We'll see if it gives me that little added oomph I feel I need. So we got it all mixed up. That's the color. I'm gonna use this brush and dip in a little, and let's see what we get. I'm trying a new sunblock. 
and it's called the sunblock because it has mineral sunscreen which is zinc or titanium oxide and it is an actual physical barrier to the rays of the sun and they are better for me than chemical sunscreen however this one also has one of the chemical sunscreens in it but it's not bothering me so far so are you seeing this i i just think yeah it's it's a good match um i've got some self tanner on right now so it's not exact but i am really pasty white girl here if you have any ideas, please let me know in the comments. Help me, fix me. Help me help you. You know, one of the things I absolutely love about this foundation, and you're going to think it's so silly, I love the way it smells. It smells like Noxzema. It reminds me of when I was a kid, and I loved Noxzema because I loved the smell of it, and I loved the cooling sensation you got with it. I thought it was awesome. All right, so now you should be able to see sufficiently how light this really is. And now I'm starting to wonder, was the other one better? I'll insert a picture of the other one that we did some time ago. I'll take a screenshot of the video and I'll put it up. You can let me know what you think. I think this makes me look so much older and I am so unhappy with it. And I'm so bummed because I thought I was gonna, I was getting the right thing and it I guess technically is the right thing, but as that makeup artist said, mature skin needs more color, and I'm, I see that now. The primer, I'm sure, is very nice. I don't really think it's doing anything major. I'll tell you what it's not doing is filling in my pores. I'm not terribly thrilled with that because I feel like I have polka dot pores. I don't know if you understand when I say polka dot pores what I mean. It means you can see the little dots of foundation in the pores. I don't know if that's focusing or not. I hate that look and yeah, nobody notices it unless they're right on top of you, but it's just not right. I just added a little bit of the Infallible Full Wear Concealer that I'm trying out in the color Ivory 330. I'm finding this is a very full cover concealer, which is good. It's probably the right color for concealer, but it's just making me even whiter. Something's making me itch. The concealer certainly covers. I mean, you can see I have almost no color here. Little tiny bit of the rosacea peeking through here, but I'm not gonna worry about it. It's, it's really got all my flaws covered. I'm tapping back into what's left in this pan to smooth everything out. I fight with concealers because putting another layer of product on my skin just really shows up the wrinkles. You know, I don't like looking cakey. And that's what I think concealer does to me. It makes me cakey. And it may just be that this particular concealer isn't maybe playing as well with the Derma Blend foundation. I don't know. All I know is I itch. Ugh. Sorry, I just, I had to get that. It itched so bad. Now I took all my makeup off around here. Now I look goofy. But at least I got a little color there, huh? So I don't know if it's this brush. I don't know if it's the makeup. All I know is I itch. I like to look more natural, but I don't feel that I do look natural. I've got a lot of makeup on, let's face it. And you can see it. What I'm feeling is that since I got the light colors, I haven't liked any of them because I went and I switched four products for lighter stuff. And the concealers, they're where they should be. They were too orange, but the foundations I got, I don't like any of them now because they're too light. So I don't know, I'll fuss with it. I'll let you know what happened. I am gonna use a little bit of Dermablend Loose Setting Powder. Dermablend's a nice brand, I, I like it. They're great, you know, for people like me that have rosacea, people that have melasma, and other types of hyperpigmentation. Their products really do cover, and they've been helping out people with pigmentation for many, many years. This is my brand new brush. Yeah, it was a cheap, brush it cost me three bucks and this is a manicadar beauty blush it's beautiful i mean it's really a beautiful color the color is paradise 
I could not get this open. It took, I, I actually broke off a piece and it's all mangled in there from trying to use tweezers to open it. I couldn't open it. And I really wanted to try it. I almost threw it out. I got it open today and now I'm thinking, should I close it? <laughs> I don't know. So we're gonna try this Manicadar blush today. It's very pretty on this brush. <laughs> but I certainly need to color up, you know, give myself some color today. Well, this brush is kind of nice. It's really soft. It's depositing color, but not a ridiculous amount, which I like. Do you know I have a problem overdoing the blush? I've been working very hard toning down my blush. I think this side definitely needs a little more. I like the blush and I am gonna use this Too Faced Sun Bunny bronzer. It's a nice bronzer. It, I like it better than my other Too Faced bronzer that I bought during the sale because it doesn't lay down as heavily as the other one did. I mean, I well, I probably went into it a little too rough with my brush as I have a tendency to do. I'm gonna try to go very slow today. Want it in the hollow. You don't want it all over the place. We're doing better here. I'm not used to being so careful with my makeup application, but it's funny seeing myself on film, I, I've really seen, you know, where I have a tendency to overdo it. And um, things do show up differently on the camera than they do sitting here at my desk in front of the window. And of course, things look different too when you get outside under fluorescent lights. It's hard to get something that looks nice in every light. I can tell you looking in the mirror, I am very unhappy with this look. I'm gonna try to bring a little life here to the rest of my face. I feel like death in this. And I feel like it shows everything. So it's double whammy. Like I said before, I don't like using something and then taking it back. They, they don't give samples. So they say, you know, if it's not good, bring it back. So that's, that's what I gotta do. We're back. I did my eyebrows, I scrubbed my lips and put a little bit of lip balm on, give me a little life in my face. Today I thought I would play a little bit with my beautiful Viseart palette. I'm not going to do anything fancy, in fact I'm going to try to make it quick. Well, it might be a little darker than I wanted in the transition color, but hmm, it's nice though, it shears out real nice. Viseart shadows are the bomb. I'm using this right here. They don't name their colors in this, well, they might be on here somewhere, but the writing is way too small for me. I love these shadows. And they have come out with a whole bunch of new palettes. And I have watched all of these people coming out on Instagram with their new Viseart palettes. And I'm trying very hard not to be jealous because they have some really beautiful palette. Truly, I am grateful for what I have. I'm trying to be a little more minimalist. I mean, the want list goes on forever. I mean, I don't think that's ever gonna change because they come out with beautiful things all the time. And of course, I, you know, see them and I want them. I just look at it and I think, you know, do I really need all of that? No. Getting along fine with what I have. I'd love to be able to have it and show it to you and try it on, but be smart and not spend more than I have. So I've got a little hint of the green in there. I went a little heavy on it. Didn't mean to, it's just, it seemed to have a heavy hand. Got a lead foot when I drive too, so I guess they go together. I think it has to do with impatience. I don't like that about myself, but I can't deny that it is. I'm going to use this Topi shade on my lid. I noticed a lot of people call it the mobile lid, I guess because it moves. Wow, that almost blends in right with the color on top. Yeah. Uh, mm. I'm, I'm gonna just... put in a little of this gold shimmer. It's it's very light. It's very pretty. Oh yeah. That gives the eye a little life and that's what it needs. My whole face needs some life, frankly. I'm gonna tap that in with my finger and make it louder. Oh yes. Loud. Ooh, might have gotten a little too heavy there. It's all about the blend, folks. We know this. <laughs> 
I feel like this look is just doomed today. Green was what I wanted. That first transition color I put in was just too dark. I, I never heard of transition colors before when I was doing makeup. That's kind of a new thing. They've labeled everything. That's, that's the thing. I'm still trying to catch on to all this new stuff. Oh boy, now I went and put too much green in. Kinda like it though. I like it better than I did before. I'm gonna go back in with this golden shimmer that we put on the lid. I'm just gonna take a little bit of it. A nice little brow highlight. I'm gonna take it and sheer it out top here. Tame down the, the green a little where I got out of control. I don't even see it on this eye. There you are. That's a beautiful color. It, it makes me think of angels. It's kind of ethereal. That's what I would call it. I am going to blend a little here. Uh, this look needs a tight line and I'm gonna go and do that and I'll come back, okay? Well, I'm back. I'm gonna put on some Essence Volume Booster Lash Primer. This stuff is amazing. I just can't get over it. How did I never know about this? You know, I, I knew I was missing a lot of the new makeup stuff that was coming out. Like, when Sephora first opened, I was really just getting into the really deep funk that I ended up in severely clinically depressed and sometimes I would take my kids they were getting older and they wanted things at Sephora but I just didn't care for myself but I didn't care for much of anything other than my kids and I really did try to give them what they needed even while I couldn't take care of myself and that was part of the problem I know you know you take care of yourself first and then you can take care of your child mother father whoever like putting the oxygen mask on yourself first and then them. And I get that, but it's different with your kids. It just is. And he, whatever you have to give, you give to them and you take care of yourself later. So my kids are all growing up now and out living life and doing great things. And I am learning to heal myself with the help of God and my church and different people on YouTube that just kind of light up my life. Let's move on to Wonder Beauty Unlashed Mascara. It's a nice mascara, I'm really enjoying it. It doesn't flake, gives you long, beautiful lashes. It has a curved wand, if you could see that. I kinda like it, I don't know, I'm sitting on the fence about it. I love the mascara. I'm not sure if the curved wand is, it seems to be all right on my eyes. I know a lot of people say they poke themselves with it. I don't seem to be having that problem yet, but it really does give you gorgeous lashes. Don't need a second coat because I can still see primer sticking through. I'm not sure why. I think it's because I sleep on this side, but these these lashes are shorter and they're kind of stumpy on the end. I, I have not been able to be a back sleeper because my back is so messed up. I have to sleep on my side. This side, those lashes are gorgeous. They are just fantastic. I hope you can see them. There I go looking at the mirror again instead of the camera. I hope you can really see how fantastic that lash is. Last but not least, I use the Bare Real Tinted Primer by Benefit for my lower lashes. And this has been working out great because I just want a little something on them. I am noticing that my tight line is transferring and I am not happy about that. I have not yet found a pencil that I can tight line with that doesn't transfer. I'm trying to see what I used. The It No Tug Waterproof Anti-Aging Gel Eyeliner. 
and it went on so nicely, but I see it's transferring down here. I don't know if you can see it. It just frustrates me. I just don't, mm, I don't want that. I've got uh, Kevin Aquan Flesh Tone Lip Pencil. Flesh Tone cracks me up because Flesh Tone is any number of, you know, a million variations, so. If this one is so close to my actual lip color, it's unbelievable. Oh, I'm really messing up here. Oh, look at me. I'm just getting it all over the place. <laughs> Maybe this wasn't the right day to film or something. It's like faux pas city here. Pencils are kind of hard, I think. Today I thought we would try the Balm Jour Creamy Lip Stain in Salut. I got this in one of the subscription boxes last month. I hadn't tried it yet. It's pretty though. What do you think? Aside from the fact that I went outside the lines, really struggling today, but I think it's pretty. I think from a distance, I look absolutely fine. I probably look quite nice from a distance. I am really unhappy with it up close, but I can fix this. I will take this back. We'll get the right color. And if I need to lighten it up to take out the orange, I can do that without turning into an absolute corpse, uh, which is exactly what I feel like today. Thanks so much for coming along on this Get Ready With Me. I'll see you in my next video. Life is precious. Don't miss a second of it. Go out and live your beautiful life.